the problems with the intellectual left is the the very idea that it would coalesce around you know two sort of charismatic theorists um we're talking very practical questions we're talking about questions of what uh, of, of vision and direction you know what we have at the moment is we shouldn't be arguing with each other about how we feel about the role of the state. That's just a token of our own irrelevance. Uh, what we should be talking about is how to take a, um, a part in the arguments about the fundamental changes that are going to happen in our society in the wake of this. I mean, the last poll I saw showed that 9% of people in the UK, for example, want to think, put things back to normal. People are demanding a fundamental change in our relationship to each other and our relationship to nature. We need to make ourselves relevant to, the, uh, to that debate. Now, as it happens, most of the radical ideas of social transformation have been coming out of the left. Um, but that's the important thing. We should be dividing up uh, you know, around our visions. Um, what is the best way that we can transform society to make it less incredibly violently alienating and oppressive and still get to zero carbon by 2025 or at most 2030 um, so that we don't we're not all underwater in, in 10 years. Um, these are the things that we're supposed to be arguing about. But I mean, in a way, it's, it's, it's a mercy that this happened because it happened early enough that there's still time to turn things around. It's a kind of a warning shot of things to come. And the left are the only people who've been thinking about radically different visions. So we need to get over these kind of squabbles and start thinking about what it is we're actually proposing.